Hello there, and welcome to Hammerman for today, August the 27th. We're starting off with Stage 1, and as you can see, yes, Stage 1 has heavies and tanks. Which means, no flawless today. That's alright though, because there's always next week. And also, you might notice, um, I am upgrading one of my boom cannons, and before people are all like... Oh my god, what are you doing upgrading your boom cannon? Grandpa making her goosebumps. Um, the reason I'm doing this is because it's Hammerman, and honestly, the boom cannon's relatively minor in comparison to, say, rocket launchers and shock launchers. Because when it comes down to it, it's the rocket launchers and the shock launchers that make or break a Hammerman defense. It's, it's never the heavies and zookas and scorchers that are tearing through, making you go, Oh no, why God, why my defenses now? It's always the riflemen. Always the riflemen. Every dang time. Anyways, actually, ironically, riflemen and zookas right behind them, and then a whole bunch of massive poofs of smoke. Oh, that was beautiful to watch. Um, perfect timing, though. <laughs> perfect example of what I'm talking about. Basically, that was all shock launchers. It just, they took out massive swaths of troops because, well, that's what they do. And same, actually, yeah, look, like, like I, don't, I don't even have to talk about this anymore. It, you can see it right here. It's all about the shock launchers and rocket launchers. And if, if you can accept... That in PvP, no matter what you do, you will always be steamrolled. And and just give up on trying to defend for PvP. One, you're going to enjoy the game a lot more because you're, you're always going to be steamrolled. And two, you can put all of your devotion into upgrading those rocket launchers and shock launchers. And that'll help you progress through Hammerman. Like, honestly... The biggest difference between me being able to defend stage 3 and sometimes stage 4 and doing stage 5 on a regular basis was just upgrading my rocket launchers and shock launchers about 5 levels each to get them to the point where they're at now. And here's actually another perfect example. Look at these Zookas. These Zookas aren't even making it to the flag before they get turned into smoke. And, and it's 100%, alright, well, 99% shock launchers and rocket launchers, just because I saw that boom cannon get one last hit at the very end, so I can't say 100%. But it really is all about the, the SLs and RLs, because they take out the massive swarms of troops that Hammerman brings to the table. Um, so, like, yeah, if, if you can accept that no matter what, you're going to get steamrolled in PvP, devote all that energy to progressing through Hammerman, you're going to get extra parts, you're going to get extra intel for your task force, but the, the really killer thing is, shock launchers and rocket launchers can sometimes be underestimated by people attacking. So people will look and be like, oh the boom cannons are all low, I can blow up all the boom cannons. And then if your rocket launchers and shock launchers are high enough, it'll cause them enough grief and do enough damage. You can at least get some intel and some gems. You might not get the win, but you'll do enough that you can get some rewards. And hey, you know what? When it comes to defending, that's really all you can ask for. Because no matter what, like people who don't think they can beat you aren't going to bother attacking you unless you're like on the leaderboards and they're just desperate to do a map clear. Like in the in the medium levels and low levels, most people are more interested in good loot and like an easy win. So if unless you have really good loot, then then you might get a few attacks, but you know. Eh. Also, as a side note, uh this is stage 5. This is the first time I t actually this is another really good example of just look at all those zookas just getting disintegrated. Just absolutely trashed by rocket launchers and shock launchers alone and then there's like the the scorcher that's kind of sitting there and it eventually gets blown up but the real damage is done all by the launchers um and and 
man, it continues. Like, two-thirds of this entire stage are those two defenses just wiping out, like, warriors and riflemen and zookas and everything. And then eventually the tanks roll in and the boom cannons finally have something to do. Oh, whoop de doo And actually, ironically, there's riflemen in the way of the tanks so the the tanks have a meat shield of riflemen so the boom cannons aren't even really that useful right now anyways <laughs> um but that's all right so yeah I, I strongly suggest upgrading your rocket launchers i i'm pretty sure that if i had say you know like my i think my rocket launchers are now level nine and ten ish I'll have to double check later. Um, that's horrible. But, um, it, like, if, if I had, say, like, four or five more levels, like, if I had level 13 or level 14 rocket launchers, I'm pretty sure that I would be able to actually down these tanks during this level. Um, I'm, I'm going to mash the fast forward because... You can probably guess where this is going. I have defenses standing, but they're shock launchers and rocket launchers against freaking tanks. But it's two tanks, so they have like zero DPS. Another perfect example of why rocket launchers are so amazing. Even at wicked long distances, it's still trying to peck away. It's still trying to take down that, that tank. Obviously, it's not going to get very far, but hey, at least it tried. Also... If I had the higher level rocket launchers and shock launchers, I don't doubt for half a second, I would have stood a much better chance against this level, which is, yes, 552 freaking riflemen. I, I saw that and I was just like, oh, there is no way I'm going to be able to take that out. I actually don't do that bad on this first, uh, first landing or first wave, because... The, the mines are able to help out and kind of blow up the riflemen so that when they do finally get to my defenses, they're already hurt enough. But as you can see, the second wave of riflemen, second eight boats of riflemen, crash into my defenses and just start slowly plowing through them. And the rocket launchers and shock launchers, I gotta give it to them, they are doing some work, like, they are working their butts off, but you can only do so much. If, if I had, say, like, level 14 rocket launchers, I would expect that this level would be significantly easier, and I would probably have made a lot more headway, maybe even finished, because it's only one last wave of, of riflemen that end up kicking my butt. Anyways, guys, hopefully this has been helpful. Hopefully this has been entertaining, and most importantly, hopefully you guys have a fantastic day watching me slow bro. Rawr.